Cameron Keys on BBC Radio One. Why do you only call me when you're high? I've always asked you this question. <laughs> <laughs> you should call me at a reasonable hour when you're not so hungry. Because you can't focus when you're this hungry. <laughs> Michael McIntyre is Yay! here, everybody. Morning, Michael. I thought they'd change the lyrics of that song to make it more Radio 1 friendly, no? No, no, no. no Why don't just... you never call me and say hi? You see? You see? I've sanitised it. <laughs> it would work for an 8am breakfast Nick radio. Nick Grimshaw! How are you? Oh, I'm okay. It's very early. <laughs> It's very early. early. I mean, people must say that all the time, but do you have to do the breakfast show at this time? <laughs> I mean, do you know, people have asked if we can do it in the afternoon. Oh, I'd much prefer that. Yeah, I've yeah. had a guest before who said, can we do it in the afternoon? And yeah. I'm like, it's a breakfast show. And they're yeah. like, I'm not coming on then. Yeah. And I they've never been on. That. Yeah. I've been trying to get through to you. Um, so we have quite a great show today, because Michael McIntyre is here. Mason Noyes is here. Should we just stop at the word quite? Do you well, want, it's quite. I mean, I'm I'm sitting right in front of you. <laughs> We've got one of our late, late reasonable shows. Some of them fair and middling today. But tomorrow, Cheryl Fernandez Vossini is here with confetti in her underpants. <laughs> so I'll edit that bit out. Sorry. Today we have an that. incredible show. Oh, right. Yes. Uh, Michael McIntyre is here. Mason Noise is going to be joining us. Noise! You just had a running with him in the kitchen. <laughs> I did. I frightened the life out of Noise. You really did. Yeah. Screaming across the kitchen, I Noise! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I inquired as to why he wasn't calling me anymore. Yeah. Uh, but obviously... Um, You're old friends, yes. aren't you? Well, I've been watching The X Factor. I've been enjoying it. I can't uh -huh. believe so you were doing that. That was you last night on the TV. That was me. How do you do that? Why I am I complaining about being tired? That's exactly. spectacular. That, I mean, I don't know how it happens, but it happens. It was high drama last night. It was high drama High last drama. Night. So what happened? Remind us. So, <laughs> did you actually watch it? Yes, I oh, did. Oh, okay, good. Okay, so I like it when you come on at the beginning, because everyone started saluting now. Yeah. I don't. I felt that was Cheryl's thing, the salute. Well, well it is Cheryl's thing, and then Simon's copied her. But I think I know why, because I saw him a couple of weeks ago. Uh -huh. Did you watch it when he's tried to wink, but his eye got stuck down. <laughs> Did you not see it? No, you no. watch it back. You catch no up. way. No, yeah. his eye got stuck. One eye just sort of drooped and it wouldn't go back up. <laughs> and the, ca the camera quickly cut away. And I saw Ollie Murphy doing a link. And behind, I saw sort of like runners trying to, I think, fourth, fourth impact, but all trying to get his eye open again. And he obviously decided I can't do that anymore. I'm going to have to go with the straightforward salute. And now he you're all wait, saluting. No. What are you, who are you all saluting salute, at? Not you're, me. What do you do? I didn't do a salute. Well, I didn't have a thing because I didn't think about it. Well, until just the first. everybody else's thing. I so didn't do a thing. Rita said she she was planning it. She wants to do it like a Marilyn Monroe kiss. Right. So I was going to copy okay. that because I'm first. Yeah. And then I thought she'd go crazy. So I just, I don't yeah. know, I just sort of did like a gormless wave at the camera. Well, it's the live TV thing. It looks like Ollie Murs and Caroline Flack seem to have this thing at the opening where they try and do something that leads to this big noise. Yes. They mistime it every episode. Every week. <laughs> they never, and they go, <laughs> and then they do, then they kiss or something. Yeah. They haven't got it right once. Every week they miss it. <laughs> live TV. Uh, live TV. It's Make so some noise. Thing. He's going to be here. The overall friends, as you said, from the hood. Yeah, of course. Um, I was in the hood, but I just, he only ever calls me when he's high. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. No, that's no I'm just trying to well. reference lyrics here. <laughs> <laughs> and we need to talk about this, what I have in my hand right now. It's my digital versatile disc. It is. <laughs> Michael McIntyre's digital versatile also disc. Also available in download. Oh, is it? I don't know. Oh, yeah. On iTunes, it must be. Must be. This is Radio them. One. Do you yeah. people don't have DVDs on Radio One? I actually do don't have a DVD. Player. No, you don't exactly. No, I so, don't. So you're holding something that's basically like a museum item. Yeah, in your hand. you don't <laughs> even know what it is. I'm holding like a. That, is that what you said? What is this? Yeah. <laughs> what is? What this? is this? That's it's in a my glorified hand. coaster with my face on it. <laughs> but ultimately, you can download it maybe on iTunes or if uh, your parents have a, a DVD player, then, please, then you could yeah do it. Have yeah. It yeah. I had to get it. rid of it because I hate had uh, I hated having I hate wires. Yes. You know, like wires in your house? I hate having yes. wires. No, they frisk me as I come in. They said, are you wearing a wire? I thought, you're so paranoid. <laughs> you're on the radio. Yes, wires. Uh, this is the wireless. Of course, you're not, yes. you're not, you're not to enjoy yeah, wires. Get rid of it. Get rid yeah, of it. Because back in the day, we used to love wires. We have to leads everywhere. <laughs> You'd pull back the TV and it was just a jungle. It's a jungle. <laughs> yeah. But now it's just like one small white device. That's Sonos it. or That's something. All you and need. It just controls everything in your life. That's all you need, Michael. And how was it doing the DVD? Because it's a live show. Yes. And how did you know which live show you wanted to record? 
How did you know it was going to be exceptionally great oh, to be recorded? To, well, you have to pre-plan that. Right. You don't know. I can't film all of them and hope it's good. So we build up <laughs> to this date where all the cameras come in. But they do come in over two nights so we can pick the best bits a right. little bit and cut from one night to the other if needs be. So I did it at the O2 and, you know, I've I'd, I'd done a lot of shows. And it's quite exciting because the audience know that we're recording it so the cameras are there and, you know, they're, they're up for it. They yeah, yeah. want to be on the DVD. So there's cameras, you know, sweeping through the audience and stuff. So if they're not laughing, I, I make it clear that they'll be replaced by other people who are laughing. <laughs> so I think they laugh a little bit harder in the hope they'll get on it. And I'm always hoping that they stand up at the end because that they don't, you know, I don't get a standing ovation every gig. Yes. <laughs> it's not, it's not in fact that often that it happens, but you'd like it to be that one. So that it's one. nice on that occasion. Do I you thought. pre-warn? Do you say, I would like a standing ovation because... You can't do that. You can't, no. you wouldn't, they don't just respond to that. Right. So what I do is I hang around a little bit at the end <laughs> while people slowly start to get up to leave. And then I keep sort of... It's an ovation! Yes. It's a, yeah, I do crazy. that sort of movement with my hands a lot, but I cut all that out in the edit. <laughs> it looks far more spontaneous than the 45 minutes it actually took. <laughs> um, right, we need to talk about what's going to be happening on Christmas Day as well. Okay. Um, but we're going to play record. Yes. And then we are going to uh, get some questions to you as well from your public. I love questions. Do you like questions? From my public. From your public. Well, they're, they're listening. They're listening it's right now. One. I'm yeah. so cool. They're on. If you want to ask Michael anything, eight double one double nine. Give us a shout right now, and we'll put them to Michael after this. Oh, beautiful. It's that Christmas song off that advert. Half the world away there on BBC Radio 1. How do you think you say her name? A Aora? Who are we talking Aura? about? You Aura. You work with No, not Rita, Rita Aura. Aura. This lady. Half Where the world away. Down here in the red. Half oh. The, oh, that's the way... Oh, that, that's Aura. the one person who sang the song? Yeah. Oh, it's it's Aurora. <laughs> Aurora. Aurora. Aurora there. The, on BBC Radio 1. I love that you were like, <laughs> Rita Aura. Why? You've left pictures of Rita Aura in front I, of my face on I, a computer screen. I, Why I, are you doing Because we were just looking on the internet there. Do you like the look? Yeah, I, the look was very good. My son is, is um, he's a child. Right. He, uh, <laughs> Your son is a child. Yes, <laughs> I have a child son. He loves Rita Aura. Does uh, he really? Or, well, he's very young, but he, he was we watching um, the show the other day. And he said, God, I wish Rita Ora was seven. I mean, he's seven. <laughs> he's seven himself. I think that needs to be pointed out. But I, he's, got very good, he's got very good taste. <laughs> he's not eight until April. Yeah. <laughs> if you've just tuned in. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. Wow. Have, have you ever met her? Um, no, I've never met Rita Ora. You should get. You should come to the show. Bring, bring, bring your seven-year-old oh, child. Love that. I've got to tell you, they absolutely love the show, and we G love it as a family. We yeah. all sit around and watch it. It's really good family entertainment, and they love you, Grimmy. Oh God, Nick Grimshaw. I know. Oh, we all love oh, Nick. We all love good. Nick. I'm not just saying that. He I've got to get your autograph for the kids. Really? I've never asked anyone for an autograph before. Really? That has to happen. I normally just hover around in case people ask me. But <laughs> this is this is a real moment. <laughs> Tina, would you like Michael's autograph as well yes, this morning? Yes, please. I Thank actually would like a sign. DVD because I'll never use it because oh, I don't have a DVD it's player. Such a love it in the Radio so, One studio. I'll never lose it. <laughs> and we need to talk about Christmas Day because you have oh. that huge job, Christmas Day, BBC yes. One, of entertaining oh, the country. Like this yes. is the time that family will sit down all together and they'll pretend they like each other for a couple of days. Yes. And this is going to be like the pinnacle of that. Everyone watching you. I've done. I've had a few shows on Christmas Day, maybe. Now. Yeah. Two or three. Um, I missed last on... year. If I'm honest. It, that's okay. Because I went to bed at four in the afternoon for a nap and then woke up on Boxing Day. Oh, I slept right. <laughs> my mum was furious. Christmas isn't one of those days I you want to sleep it. through. I slept through it. I was so annoyed. Well, so at least I missed you didn't it go to sleep on Christmas Eve and wake up on Boxing Day. <laughs> yeah, I woke up in January. Horrific. Yeah. Yeah. Time. So what can we expect this year on Christmas Day? Well, it's going to be a theatre show. Last year it was in a studio. So I'm going back to, I think, what I might do best, which is being in, uh, in doing stand up, which is something I've been working on for years. So I'm doing, uh, <laughs> You're doing okay. I'm doing a theatre show in the theatre. To Royal in London, and we've got uh, we've got a great lineup. It's a similar show as I did a few years ago, um, also on Christmas Day, and uh, oh, we've got Dame Edna Everidge coming in. Uh -huh. She's going to sit in the box and and um, have fun at everybody's expense. And you know, we've got Tom Jones and Ellie Goulding and a great comedy and Dara O'Brien, and we're all just going to have a riot. Wonderful with the audience. Wonderful. Is it quite hard to keep you awake? Is it quite hard to do a show that goes out on Christmas Day because you've got to entertain? 
everybody. So you can't have those awkward jokes because there'll be grandkids hanging out with grandparents and you'll be sitting maybe yeah. next to your mum. Do you ever but think about... The, the, the great thing about Christmas is it's, it's a moment in time that you build up to, but then you've, everybody forgets it any, but anyway. Yeah. I mean, there's a little bit of merriment going on. <laughs> so people... You no, know, once, once Christmas is over, it's almost like, what was that about? And then you just carry with your life and you don't look back. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you yeah, move yeah. the sofa in June and find some pine needles on the floor and think, something <laughs> happened here. <laughs> <laughs> so you just sort of forget that. It's like crackers. You know, all that... You pull all those crackers, you get so excited about the prizes, but you always forget. I mean, what even happens to those you things? You just immediately you throw them in the bin. I don't even remember throwing them in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I always think, well, where, are, where is all those cracker wins? I've never heard anyone in the middle of the year go... Who's up for mini cards? Does anyone fancy a game of mini cards? Does anyone have the smallest amount of sewing I can attend to? Just a fray. Not a big sew, just a little sew, because I won this at Christmas and I'm dying to use it. Why measure the whole carpet when we can measure this section and guess the rest with my new tape measure that I won two Christmases ago? It's a moment in time. Everybody forgets. So I, th I think that is very much on my side. Let's see how we're feeling by those little curly coloured fish. Let's put, should we go for the curly coloured fish and put them on a... <laughs> Although, let's be honest, the mini toolkit, that is something that gets... Does all, that get used in round, the house? All year round. Really? Well, because when you've got children, it's the only oh, way those to, get annoying in, toys, yeah, to get yeah, into yeah. the battery compartment. Yeah, 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 you need I the mean, mini mini. Yeah, toolkit. otherwise you can't change the battery hey, Michael, the toys you, on his birthday. Do you know my head's so big that my, well, when we open the Christmas crackers, I, I, I'm i the only one that can't wear a Christmas hat. Because <laughs> my head's so big, so it sometimes tears. my mum's sellotapes do together. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yeah. Have a, it's, an it's, okay size. I don't it's think massive. It. Right. Yeah. Oh, I think so it's quite sweet. long. So does she break into the cracker in advance? <laughs> no. And sellotape two together so you don't get the embarrassment of her going, oh, don't worry, Nick, I'll go and grab the cellar. <laughs> 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 she did it one year for me, and I really appreciate it. What about breaking them all up and having one big hat around the whole table? <laughs> just so you don't feel self-conscious? <laughs> Get the full family in one yes, giant hat. Come on. That would be quite nice. And it's, you have sort of traps there for a family <laughs> time with everybody. Yes, yeah, so when the arguments happen, no one, yeah, can, no one can escape. It's <laughs> <laughs> a great idea. Try it this Christmas. Um, right, loads of questions um, coming in for you, Michael. Uh, first up, I'm obsessed with this programme. I watched it last night and I should have gone to bed early, but I have to watch The Jungle every night. Myself. Oh, yeah, it. The Jungle's fun. Um, Michael, if you were, were asked, would you ever consider going on I'm a Celebrity? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No way. It was far, well, there's many, many, many uh -huh. reasons, but, you know, this is just this show just lasts one day. Um, I love watching it. Who would... I don't, why would I want to go I love there? watching I it. Love going to, I like going to Australia. I've, you know, I've been on tour there. Uh -huh. I'll go and do some shows in Australia. But, but I can't, you know, I can't eat those things no. and, and live... See, the eating I wouldn't mind. Home. I think I'd eat mm. anything. I don't want to walk around with a phone number on my back. Is that still... <laughs> <laughs> do they still have that? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm a person. I'm not, I'm not numbers with an international dialing code. I love that. That's the thing that bothers you. I'm not having a phone number on my back. It just Thank feels a bit much. embarrassing. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I'll vote, phone me. Here's my number in case you want my number. Do you know what I mean? I need to be a bit cool. It's like, yeah. You don't get my number till I know you quite well. <laughs> <laughs> Take it or leave it, really. Whatever. No, I'm um, jumping out of an airplane. Could you do that? Uh, I, I don't think so. No, no, no. I don't think I could do it. I think I'd, I couldn't do the jumping out. I, yeah. I, I wouldn't mind eating stuff. I think I'd be fine you with it. Right with it. I think I'll be fine. And then the other thing I don't like is I'm not massively keen on rats. Oh, God, at all. Rats. And when they do no. the thing where they make you line no, essentially a coffin with some water in it and rats, and then the rats use you as an island yeah. to get out of the water. No, I can't. No, yeah, because no, no. you have to. I'm not. I, I'm not interested in overcoming my phobias. I'm Me neither. In avoiding my. Me phobias too. And keeping my phone number, you know, hidden. <laughs> Secret. <laughs> yes, that's. You know, it's not their phone number. So I don't think I'll be in that show. But you know, never say never. Have you been watching this year? How the DVD is going to sell. <laughs> 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 Have you watched it this year? Have you seen Lady? Yes, I've been watching I it. I love La yeah. um, Lady C. Lady C is oh, wonderful. But she it, is amazing. She turned a little bit. That's what my kids said. Yeah, yeah. She's, yeah, she's a getting bit, yeah. a bit ratty now. But yeah. I quite like. I quite like it. It's yeah. great telly. Wonderful no, it stuff. It is always great telly. I really liked Fern from Towie uh, asking Lady C like, like, what is a light like a lady? Is it a a wrist of <laughs> A wrist a thing. <laughs> Is that like a man, but different? It was amazing <laughs> television, like those two. That's what I like. She's very good, the Geordie. I saw her, the, the girl from um, Geordie Shaw. Oh, yeah, What's Vicky. Her? Vicky's fun and, yeah. and funny. I yeah, really liked her. Really fun. It's but a really good year this year. So, you know, you're working out who you like and you don't yeah. like. Yeah, I really love it. So, um, right, we're going to ask one more question before we get into the news. Um, what should we ask? What should we go for? Oh, Michael in Bristol's is quite good. Do we like that? Okay, Michael in Bristol asks a fellow Michael, how do you get your hair to look so fantastic and bouncy all the time? 
Okay. Um, I should, I should What's the that? secret to your luscious locks? Because I'm worth it. I don't quite know how to respond to that. <laughs> it's um, incredibly shiny in real life. Thing. This is Isn't it lovely, that, Fifi? Yeah. It grows, lovely hair. It grows up. I don't, I don't get it to do that. I mean, I don't have, like, a routine. No, you don't have a blow driver more. If I can address Michael directly. Michael, I don't have a routine. If you're looking to get an extra bounce in your hair, I don't know if I think about how I live my life. I mean, I remember to wash my hair. I t I'd reach for whatever shampoo is there, which tends to be something my, one of my wife's shampoo uh -huh. for, for blonde hair. So maybe that's what's doing it. Oh, maybe that's she it. She has, like, special blonde, blonde hair thing. Maybe that's adding it's, extra bounce. It's, by the it way, Michael, it's as shiny as when Kim Kardashian came in, and she has really shiny hair. Do you know, Liam, that's one of the nicest things anyone's mm -hmm. ever said to me. <laughs> it's Kardashian-like. Thank you so much. Can I put that on the front cover as a quote <laughs> on my next DVD? <laughs> His hair shines like Kim Kardashian. It really does. <laughs> Nick Grimshaw, Radio 1. It really, really breakfast. does. It really does. <laughs> um, Michael. Good luck uh, with your hair, Michael. Good luck with your hair. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. Um, I can't wait to watch the DVD when oh, I go to my so, parents and watch a DVD fun. player. I was asleep, but you've all woken me up sitting here. It's a, I, don't, I never feel like anyone's listening. It's just like we're in this this little glass box. No, they're listening. They are. They're oh, on. Okay. <laughs> they're on. They're on. Uh, and we'll what watch you on Christmas you. Day as well. And I, yes, Christmas Day, DVD's out, and I need your autograph for my kids. Okay, wonderful. Right. Let's do it. Thank you, Michael. Thanks, Nick. It's not too late for me. Been driving too fast along this road. Will I survive this if I pray for home?